everyone. Welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I'm your teacher, Aubrey Carter, and in today's episode, you will hear a sample task two brainstorm for a very difficult IELTS question about endangered species. So listen in so you can get all the strategies you need to brainstorm a task two question like this one. And take our free two-minute quiz to get your estimated band score and free resources at your level at allearsenglish.com slash IELTS quiz. Check it out today. This is an IELTS Energy Podcast, episode 631, Brainstorming Endangered IELTS Writing Task 2 Questions. You are listening to the IELTS Energy Podcast from All Ears English. We believe in connection, not perfection. And we're here to show you how to get the score that you need on your next IELTS exam. Find out why our strategies are the most powerful in the IELTS world and get your free video masterclass at allearsenglish.com forward slash I-N-S-I-D-E-R. Now let's get to the show. Today, you'll hear a tough task two about hunting and animal extinction, as well as a high-level specific brainstorm for this challenging IELTS topic. Hey, Lindsay, what's happening in Boston? Oh, in Boston this weekend, I spent a lot of time at the movies, actually. I went oh, to lovely. see two different movies. I went what? to see, yeah, because we were planning to get active, but we couldn't because we had an injury. Um, right. Um, um, and so, yeah, we had to just watch movies, basically. We saw A Star is Born. Um, oh, how is that? I want to see that. It's good. It's a good one. Um, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. Yeah. And there's definitely a lot of chemistry between the two characters. Um, yeah, awesome. it's worth seeing. It's not the best movie I've ever seen. Like, I wouldn't give <laughs> it a nine out of 10. I'd give it more like a seven and a half out of 10. But I'm a okay. tough critic. I'm a tough critic. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, it yeah. does look good, though. I saw a preview for that. I went to the movies last week uh, to see A Simple Favor. Oh, okay. and A Star is Born mm. was one of the one of the like 20 previews. There's so many previews these yeah. days. But yeah, it looks good. And I yeah. love, I'm like, I'm sort of in love with Lady Gaga as an actress. Yeah. Like the stuff that I've seen her do so far. Yeah. So just because she's in it, that makes me want to see it. Yeah, her character in this movie is really sweet. Like you're going to like her character. It's quite humble cool. and quite down to earth and very um rela relatable. And she does a good job portraying this person. I guess this is like a recycled story, not recycled, but it's a retold story. Um, they have yeah, yeah, this is the like third or fourth time. I think it's the third time that they've mm. made this movie. Yeah. Um the most famous one is with Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson, I believe. Oh. Um and so there's a there's a pattern of casting the the woman singer yes. role with, you know, people mm. that are already pop stars or singers. Mm. And so Lady Gaga follows in that tradition and yeah, I don't know. I just listened to a podcast about it. That's why I have this information. No, guys, <laughs> guys, you should be going to the movies, like going to the movies, watching movies in English if you can, where you go to the local cinema and exposing Definitely. yourself to this kind of media, right? Get stuff in your head so that you have ideas for the writing test and the speaking test. One of my favorite things to do, guys, and this would be amazing for IELTS, is to subscribe to the Pop Culture Happy Hour podcast and see the movie or the TV show they're talking about mm -hmm. and then listen to the episode. Um, I've done that a few times where like, I've started an episode and they're like, this is a spoiler. Don't listen to this if you haven't watched this movie. So I go watch the movie and then I listen to the podcast. And guys, you get such great ideas and perspectives on what you just saw. And that is how you can talk amazingly about stuff like this on the speaking exam. Oh, that would be a huge hack for our listeners, not only on this podcast, but on the All Ears English podcast Ooh, to yeah. how to get involved with those pop culture conversations, you know, how Ooh, to really yeah. get in there. It, the worst moment is when we're at a party and all of a sudden the topic comes to something we don't know, like the latest movie or TV show or comic book. And you just right. kind of stand there feeling on the outside. We don't want that for you guys. We want you to be able to participate, but it starts with actually kind of going out and, and seeing these movies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You have to actually have the 
the experience to talk about it. And come on, going to the movies is fun. Oh, so it's fun. like <laughs> my favorite. I'm really, I d- decided I'm going to try and go to the movies once a week because this that. is one of my favorite things to do Me in the too. world. I so guys, it. take yourself mm-hmm. on a date. Go to the movies. Mm-hmm. So much fun. <laughs> I, I really kind of gotten back into going to the movies for a while there. I dropped off and, but now I appreciate yeah. it again. <laughs> That's awesome. It's just so I love fun. It. So fun. Yep. You're, you know what? Friends have a positive influence they and I'm really do. Uh, so happy <laughs> that your friend is making you do this. And I think it's great. Okay. So <laughs> to <laughs> guys, all right. Beyond movies, let's um, get back to IELTS in a little more focused manner. We had a question in our course Facebook group about a specific problem solution essay question. And this student, Marina, um, I've already answered her, but she wasn't sure how to tackle this question, what to put in the body paragraph. So we're going to talk about the organization and also some brain. We're going to brainstorm some ideas for this. Um, Lindsay, can you read that task two question, please? Okay, here we go. So here's the question from the student from our Facebook group. So I, I have a question about a problem solution essay. Many animals are being hunted to the brink of extinction in order to fulfill the demand and greed of mankind for decorative purposes, as well as for other reasons such as traditional medicine. How can this issue be tackled? So my question is, do I have to write both body paragraphs with different solutions? For example, one, against decorative purposes, and two, against traditional medicine? Or could I write one body with causes and the other with solutions for all of them? Is it okay to write one paragraph about something the question does not ask for as long as you or as long as you answer it? Well, that's a really good question. Yeah, it's re- <laughs> it wow. is really good. Um, good. So, guys, uh, let's uh, uh, let's take this back backwards to backwards. forwards. So, um, the last question, right? Is it okay to write about causes if the question doesn't ask it? No, no, it's not. Um, this is a problem solution question that asks you only for solutions, right? Mm. So remember, guys, in a problem solution question, it will state a problem and then it'll tell you what to write your essay about. It'll say, what are the effects of this? What are some solutions? Or what are the causes? What are some solutions? And um, a little more rarely is this type of problem solution where it only asks you for solutions. So guys, pay attention to what happens after they state the problem because that's what you have to write your essay about. It tells you what to write about causes, solutions, etc. So no, we cannot write about causes in this essay because it doesn't ask us for that. Um, Mm. So therefore, we have to look back at the question itself and focus on the solutions. So how can this issue be tackled? Um, Mm. Since there are two uh, sort of topics given, I would just use those to write the essay. And I would focus on the solutions that work for everything, guys. Education, (laughs) and government yeah. passing laws. I think that's uh, really, that's all you need. Mm. Oh, that makes it so much easier when we have go-to solutions that literally work for every type of question. That eliminates so much time wasting in the brainstorming se- uh, kind of section of the test. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. I was just having um, a personal coach class with one of our students yesterday, and she is amazing. Like she's really high level and she has so many amazing ideas. And so our biggest priority was like, you, wait, that's great. I love all of your ideas, but how can we have fewer? So Uh, really learning how to be strict in the brainstorm. And when you write guys, you have to do that or you cannot get a seven or higher for task response. You can't like we have to limit our ideas. So let's show the listeners what that would look like. Um, okay. So let's do like, yeah, what do you, what is a solution for for this? Mm-hmm. Hello, lovely listeners. If you want to know how to wake up the examiner with your vocabulary and pronunciation on the speaking test, get into Three Keys IELTS and claim your bonus. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash basic or allearsenglish.com forward slash coach. So 
So we're talking about number one, looking at decorative purposes, and then we want and, and traditional medicine, and then we want to use both education and government regulation. Is that right? Yes. And, you know, I think it's we don't have to uh, focus too much on the decorative purposes and Mm. the traditional medicine. Guys, those are just those are details. Those are examples in the question. Right. Mm. Like the main issue here, we've got to focus on what is the topic is that animals are being hunted, hunted to extinction. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And then it provides the causes. Right. Because people are terrible. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> because the greed of mankind, right? Um, so guys, you don't have to write a whole paragraph about that. You have to write about um, d- tackling the problem of hunting and the extinction of animals. Mm, okay. <clears throat> so then if we decide that we're going to start with the concept of education and we're talking about the extinction, I-, I would get specific and I would be specific about one type of animal that is victimized in this area, which is elephants. Um, and I would yes. use that as very specific for specific examples and stories and things like that. Yeah. And you could tie it back to the decorative purposes part, right? Because mm-hmm. you could say, um, you could say like elephants are a perfect example of this as their, their tusks are featured in many homes as an exotic decoration, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then the solution with that for that, we could say education, right? We need to get the word out about the harmful consequences to the animals themselves for yeah. having these um, statues in our homes yeah. and then give details about that solution. Like, what does that look like? What does that education campaign look like, right? Mm-hmm, Design mm-hmm. a curriculum to be taught in every elementary school or um, ha- create a public service campaign, which is broadcast on TV and on the internet, which, you know, educates people about these consequences, yeah, I think the education campaign could also include just to drill down a bit more to specific examples. It could, could include kind of um, helping us get to know elephants better, like how they behave in the wild, yeah. how kind of in some ways how human like they actually are to kind of kind of humanize them, even though they are animals, but that. humanize them like what, you know, the ways that they're actually so intelligent. I yeah. think this could help people become more educated around maybe we shouldn't kill them and and sell their, you know, body parts. We should actually um, respect them because they are human-like in some ways. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. To sort of uh, personify the mm. animals in a way, mm. right? To mm-hmm. say, like, their lives are a lot like ours, like how they yeah. value family and tribe and that sort of thing. Um, that would also speak to a lot of people, I think, that something they could connect to. So the intelligence, mm-hmm. the familial bonds... I think that could all be part of the education campaign. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. Such great ideas. (laughs) <laughs> and and then to think about government regulation, right? Is that where we would transition into for the next paragraph? Yes. So paragraph three could focus on government regulation. So, um, you know, this could, this doesn't have to be um, super complicated, guys. I mean, just a national governing body like uh, the UN, right? They should um, pass a an international law or have a, 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 the country sign an international treaty um, against the uh, killing of certain species for the use of traditional medicine if it if it endangers these species and then examples of that i think the first one that comes to my mind would be like the bird's nest soup issue mm. in um in asia and how mm. that leads that endangered some of these birds just so people can have this quote unquote like virility cure <laughs> Mm, <laughs> or, right. Um, there's a lot of uh, sort of ancient Eastern medicine that that is based on animal products. Mm. And it's not all bad as long as it's not endangering the animals. But when it does get to that point, then the government should take action. Okay, I love that. So again, I think the takeaway for me is being specific, like using that specific example, even though I don't know about that, the bird's nest soup, it really does um, make it more vivid. 
Yes, exactly, guys. The more specific, the better. So this is a tough question, guys. Definitely come back to the blog, IELTS.AllEarsEnglish.com. This is episode 631. Read through this. There's going to be the ideas we talked about today, some amazing vocabulary. But then the most important thing, guys, after you listen to this episode, read the blog post, you need to practice brainstorming for this one yourself because it is a tough question. Mm -hmm, Absolutely. And if you guys are wondering where to find the blog, we had a student ask where to find the blog, right? Where do I go? (laughs) So the blog is at IELTS.AllEarsEnglish.com forward slash episodes. That's where you're going to find all of these episodes and notes for each one written out with some videos as well. We post our YouTube videos right on the blog. So everything is there. Yes. And additional weekly blog posts for me. I just do articles every Friday. So there are thousands of resources there for you guys. But if you're ready to approach IELTS in a more systematic way, get into the three keys IELTS success system, guys. It's all planned. The study plan is there. You know exactly what to do to get that seven or higher. And it's guaranteed, guaranteed. which is huge. So guys, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash basic or allearsenglish.com forward slash coach. That's how you not only get the course, but you get this special bonus just for you guys, how to wake up the examiner on the speaking exam. Yes, I love it. You guys don't need to actually jump around the blog if you want to have a more direct route to that higher score. Just get in the course. Don't waste your time jumping around. The blog is to get started with us, to get to know our content, and then get right into the course, guys. All right, three keys IELTS. Exactly. All right, very awesome. cool, Jessica. This has been really good, a good topic and interesting topic. I, you know, this would be a good one to get, I think, on an essay because it's something that we can grab onto and that we can relate to. I love it. I love it. I think so too. It's deep. It feels like you're talking about something important, right? Yeah. Some of the IELTS prompts are just like, I don't care about this. Yeah. So guys, if you're if you're lucky enough to get something that <clears throat> you can connect to, grab onto that, right? That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Love it. All right. We'll see you back on here very soon. Jessica, take care. All right, Lindsay, you too. Bye. All right, bye. Thanks so much for listening to the IELTS Energy Podcast from All Ears English. And if you want to get tips from Lindsay and Jessica every week on how to get a seven on your next IELTS exam, be sure to subscribe to our podcast on your computer or on your smartphone. Thanks again and see you soon.